Good morning. Welcome to A Little Bit of Hope. It is a beautiful day outside. It's supposed to have some showers and thunderstorms later, uh, which is fine. It keeps the flowers and the grass green as can be. It reminds us of how much we need that nourishment, just like the earth does. Uh, as I was doing my devotions this morning, I came across uh, First Corinthians chapter 11. And I couldn't help but to think, you know, we are a week or so away from the first Sunday, which is when we normally have communion together as a congregation. And how we approach the communion table is so important uh, to how we receive God and how we are washed clean. Also, the ability to leave behind our stumbling blocks. And there is the vision in this church that is being spoken to in verse 18. In the first place, I hear that when you come together as a church, there are divisions among you. And to some extent, I believe it. No doubt there have to be differences among you to show which of you have God's approval. So then, when you come together, it is not the Lord's Supper you eat, for when you are eating, some of you go ahead with your own private suppers. As a result, one person remains hungry and another gets drunk. Don't you have homes to eat and drink in? Or do you despise the church of God by humiliating those who have nothing? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you? Certainly not in this matter. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you, the Lord Jesus. And then it goes into the words that we use in communion. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he gave thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this, whenever you drink of it, in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread or drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. I think that's probably the most profound line within this. And I'm just not diminishing anything that he's sharing beforehand. It is the purpose that we come to the table. He's saying that we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes, which in remembrance in the original tradition that this Lord's Supper was taken or shared under, a remembrance is a reliving. So we are proclaiming as well as being washed clean and prepared for the ministry God has in store for us. I think every now and then we're human. We get caught up with the distractions of life. We struggle a little bit with purpose and sometimes our hearts are totally in it and other times not. But when we center again, I think... It's an important reminder. The vision definitely should not be happening within the church, but possibly, more importantly, it should not happen at the communion table itself where God calls us together as one. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you and praise you for this beautiful day you have given to us and for this time together. Lord, we ask that you watch over all those who are traveling. Uh, Certainly those who are sick. Uh, Peg today, is she is having some surgery. And others who are having surgery, Lord, bless them and watch over them. And work through their doctors and their nurses. and Certainly help them and heal them uh, for his recovery. We left you, Ryan, who's in the hospital. And... We ask that you bless this time as he goes through his 
and medical care. And we thank you, Lord, for your outstanding work through the doctors and the nurses. What a blessing it is to experience you through other people, through people within the church, through people within the community as a whole, as you are at work. Lord, we lift to you others who are not in good health, others who are struggling, those that are in rehab, or those that are just getting out of the hospital and going to rehab right now. Lord, in these times, uh, in the background, there's often family who is struggling to get their head wrapped around how they can help or the situation as a whole, maybe. We ask, Lord, that you bless them and care for them. We do lift you our church, Lord, our mission, our ministry, our finances, every aspect of this church, Lord. Uh, we ask that you just move like the spirit of Pentecost. Just rush through here. Encourage us. Prepare us. Guide us. We lift to you, Lord, those that are struggling with a place to live, a place to work. Those that are in areas that there are physical wars and conflicts. They're worrying about their safety or their family. And we ask that you bless them and care for them, Lord. Uh, we certainly lift up anyone who is not feeling well today, physically, mentally, maybe even those struggling spiritually, that in us and through us we may help them to come closer to you. For we lift all of us in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Well, my friends, good morning, and thank you for uh, watching. Whatever time it may be, uh, things have changed through the years, and maybe that's okay, too. Because now we have a media by which we can watch on Wednesday or Friday or maybe even watch two or three times. And what a blessing that is, as we share God's word and maybe even wrestle with it a little bit what it looks like or how it impacts us and how it molds us and shapes us because truly if we have uh, a mindset much like the author of this I would say most of us don't like to see division especially in worship because worship is a time when we we praise God worship is a time when we might even be having a bad day and walk in and struggle with the fact that we came to worship but leave with a smile to spend time in fellowship. God is on the move in some great ways. And worship, that's one of them, at least for me. So my friends, again, thank you for watching. Any comments, concerns, prayer requests, please leave them in the comment section below. And until we see each other again, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you be blessed and be a blessing to others. Share a kind word, a random act of kindness. Certainly witness to how God can change and transform the world. Anything is possible through Jesus. So, until we do see each other again, be safe, have a great day. Bye for now.